the wind howled through the desolate landscape, carrying with it the echoes of the past. The abandoned asylum stood like a rotting monolith, its decaying walls and broken windows a testament to the horrors that had unfolded within its walls. Few dared to approach it, for the stories that surrounded the place were enough to chill the bravest of hearts. Sophie had always been drawn to the macabre and the mysterious. Her fascination with the unknown had led her to become an investigative journalist, and she had heard whispers about the old asylum for years. Rumors of ghostly apparitions, tortured souls, and unspeakable experiments had swirled around the decaying building like a shroud. Unable to resist the lure of the unknown, Sophie decided to uncover the truth behind the asylum's dark history. On a moonless night, she arrived at the outskirts of the asylum, armed with a flashlight, a camera, and a sense of trepidation that gnawed at her insides. The place was even more imposing up close, its windows like empty eye sockets staring into the abyss. The front doors creaked open with eerie resistance, as though the building itself was reluctant to welcome visitors. Sophie's flashlight pierced the darkness as she stepped into the asylum's forsaken halls. The air was thick with the stench of decay and the only sounds were the distant scurrying of rats and the faint dripping of water from a leaky ceiling. It was a place that time had forgotten, a place where the line between the living and the dead seemed to blur. Her camera clicked and whirred as she documented the asylum's grim interior. Cracked tiles covered the floor, and the walls were adorned with faded, peeling wallpaper that depicted scenes of happier times, patients engaged in activities that hinted at a semblance of normalcy. But Sophie knew that beneath the surface, the reality had been far different. As she ventured deeper into the asylum, the temperature seemed to drop, and a pervasive feeling of unease settled over her. She couldn't shake the sensation of being watched, of unseen eyes following her every move. But she pressed on, determined to uncover the truth. In a room on the second floor, Sophie stumbled upon a collection of old medical records. They detailed the treatments administered to the asylum's patients, experimental procedures, electroshock therapy, and other barbaric methods that were considered cutting edge in their time. Sophie shuddered at the inhumane practices that had taken place within these walls. As she continued her exploration, Sophie became aware of a soft, haunting melody that seemed to drift through the air. It was a mournful tune, played on an old piano that sat in the corner of a room. The keys moved of their own accord, reducing the eerie music. Sophie's heart raced as she captured the surreal scene on her camera. Suddenly, a cold gust of wind rushed through the room, extinguishing her flashlight and plunging her into darkness. Panic welled up inside her as she fumbled for her camera, her only source of light. When the light finally flickered back to life, she gasped in horror. Standing before her was a spectral figure, a woman in a tattered white gown. Her long, matted hair obscuring her face. The ghostly apparition reached out a skeletal hand, and Sophie could feel an icy grip around her heart. She wanted to run, to flee from this place of torment, but she was paralyzed by fear. The ghostly woman's lips parted, and she whispered in a voice that sent shivers down Sophie's spine help me. Sophie's journalistic instincts kicked in, and she managed to stammer. Who are you? What happened here? The apparition's tale unfolded in a series of haunting images. She had been a patient in the asylum, wrongfully committed by her family, who sought to rid themselves of an inconvenient relative. The treatments had driven her to madness, and she had died within these walls forgotten by the world. Tears welled up in Sophie's eyes as she listened to the ghostly woman's story. She couldn't undo the past, 
but she could ensure that the truth was finally revealed. With renewed determination, she continued to explore the asylum, documenting the horrors she encountered. In the depths of the building, Sophie stumbled upon a hidden chamber, a room that had been sealed off from the rest of the asylum. Inside, she found a collection of journals written by the asylum's staff. The entries detailed the staff's growing unease as they experimented on patients and witnessed the gradual descent into madness of those in their care. As she read through the journals, Sophie realized that the asylum's dark secrets extended far beyond the mistreatment of its patients. There were hints of a cult-like group among the staff, one that had dabbled in the occult and conducted sinister rituals within the asylum's walls. Sophie's heart pounded as she uncovered evidence of a ritual that was said to grant immortality, a ritual that required the sacrifice of innocent souls. The ghostly woman she had encountered was one such victim, and Sophie couldn't help but wonder how many others had suffered a similar fate. Determined to expose the truth, Sophie gathered her evidence and made her way out of the asylum. As she stepped into the moonlit night, she knew that her journey had only just begun. She would reveal the horrors of the forgotten asylum to the world, ensuring that the voices of the tortured souls trapped within its walls were finally heard. But as she walked away from the asylum, she couldn't shake the feeling that she was being watched that the spirits of the past still lingered in the shadows, waiting for justice to be served. The truth had been uncovered, but the darkness of the forgotten asylum would never truly be extinguished.